Have you ever pondered the darkest depths of America's criminal history? Let's delve into the life of one such figure, Gary Gilmore. Born as Faye Robert Kaufman, Gilmore was no stranger to the shadows. His life, a grim tapestry woven with crime, led him down a path that culminated on a fateful night in Utah. There, in the icy grip of a cold-blooded frenzy, he extinguished the lives of Max Jensen and Benny Bushnell. As the dawn of January 17, 1977 broke, Gilmore confronted his fate with a chilling resolve. His last meal, a simple request amidst the chaos of his impending demise, served as a symbolic gesture of finality. And when the firing squad stood ready, the world holding its breath, he uttered just three words, let's do it. Gilmore, with his cold resolve, left behind a chilling legacy etched in the annals of America's criminal history. From the shadows emerged another name, John Albert Taylor, whose story would send shockwaves throughout the nation. Taylor was no stranger to the brutalities of crime. His heinous act, the assault and murder of an innocent 11-year-old girl named Charla King, left a scar on the nation that time could never completely heal. His trial was a spectacle of horror and disbelief, as the details of his monstrous act unfurled before a stunned courtroom. As he faced his final hours, Taylor's last meal, a simple pizza and coke, seemed a stark contrast to the gravity of his impending doom. A fleeting touch of normalcy, before being consumed by the darkness of his deeds. On January 26, 1996, he uttered his final words, a chilling confession. I do not know. As Taylor's final words echoed through the chamber, a nation grappled with the horrifying reality of his crime. Then, a name destined for infamy rose to prominence. Ronnie Lee Gardner. A life marred by crime and defiance, Gardner's tale is one of a man who, in his desperate bid for freedom, claimed two lives and sealed his own fate. His brazen escape attempt etched his name in the annals of America's criminal history, leaving a trail of tragedy in its wake. As the day of his reckoning dawned, Gardner's final meal became a symbol of his impending end, a feast that seemed to satiate the hunger of his tormented soul. His last words, a whispered plea, remember me, but let me go, hung heavy in the air as he faced the firing squad on June 18, 2010. The impact of Gardner's actions reverberated through the victims, families and the nation, leaving a lasting legacy of pain and regret. Gardner's whispered plea, a testament to a life marked by crime and tragedy, continues to echo in the collective conscience of the nation. These individuals, each marked by their final moments, have left behind a haunting legacy. Gary Gilmore, born as Faye Robert Kaufman, followed a path of crime that culminated in the cold-blooded murders of Max Jensen and Benny Bushnell. His chilling resolve in the face of death echoes in the annals of criminal history. Then there's John Albert Taylor, whose brutal crimes rippled through the nation, leaving an indelible mark of horror. His last meal and final words serve as poignant reminders of his fleeting humanity. Lastly, we recount Ronnie Lee Gardner, a man whose life seemed destined for notoriety. His desperate escape attempt claimed two lives and his final plea resonates as a stark testament to his fate. Each of these men, bound by their tragic endings, has left a profound impact on their victims, their victims' families, and the nation as a whole. As their names fade into obscurity, their stories continue to serve as a stark reminder of the darkest depths of the human condition.